Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another broadcast of The Weekly with me, Neff. But before I get to this article for you guys today, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to our 50th subscriber, and it would really help if you do subscribe and share with a friend. But let's keep reading on. This one comes from The Guardian today. This says, good boy of steel, is Crypto the Superdog really coming to Superman Legacy? Let's read a little more, guys. Rumors suggest the doggy hero will soon appear in James Gunn's forthcoming movie. It could be a stroke of creative genius or an expensive canine catastrophe the brand new dc universe has somehow run out of ideas even before it has really got going they've scraped the bottom of the barrel then dug it through and found another much deeper barrel underneath where they have unexpectedly discovered a pooch in a cape for rumors suggest that crypto the super dog the man of steel's very own four-legged flight capable laser-eyed friend will soon be making an appearance in james gunn's forthcoming superman legacy Speaking on an episode of Capes and Lunatics podcast, Superman comic writer Mark Wade revealed that the superpowered mutt will be making his big screen debut in next year's DCU Party Starter, which will star David Corn Sweat as Kal-El, Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane, Nicholas Hout as Luther, and quite possibly at this rate, Kristen Wiig as the voice of Sparkle, the Wonder Kitty, Wade said. This is a quote from Mr. Wade. I like Gunn's reverential approach by and large to this kind of stuff, and you know, reverential without taking it too seriously i mean the movie has a dog in it a superpowered dog with heat vision end quote if any other director than gun was attempting to pull this off it'd be decried as a lazy myopic return to an era in which superhero movies were little more than throwaway infantilized dross designed to sell a few more toys to six-year-olds and yet this is the filmmaker who brought us rocket raccoon and groot to the marvel universe if he wants to bring us a superpowered canine who can catch missiles in his teeth and hurl tennis balls into alternate dimensions there's something seriously irreverent not to mention outright brave about going this far out into cosmic nuttiness because if gun gets it wrong he'll be staring down the barrel of a speculated $360 million budget bazooka of shame. He'll never live this down because what kind of filmmaker when faced with this prospect of trying to make the first really decent Superman film in the best part of half a century would choose to hamstring themselves by including a flying Labrador retriever sidekick who still panics at the sight of the vacuum cleaner despite having the power to take out Darkseid with a single paw. The answer is a filmmaker with supreme confidence in their own ability to make the right creative choices and that at least should be a reason for comfort. Superman Legacy is said to be inspired by the mid nineties comic book All-Star Superman, which reimagined Kal-El through a timelessly reverential all-American golden era prism of early ideas for what eventually became the series run writer. Grant Morrison described an intention to restore Superman to his preeminent place as the greatest superhero of all, which sounds an awful lot like the challenge facing Gunn after decades of middling to weak films about DC's most powerful costume titan. Still, it's hard to shake the feeling that the inclusion of crypto may be less of a creative stroke of genius and more a symptom of the DCU's ongoing identity crisis. It's almost as if Gunn has looked at Batman vs. Superman and Man of Steel films that tried and often failed to wrestle with its grandiose themes of godhood, alienation, and moral responsibility and thought. What this really needs is less pathos and more dog. Perhaps he's right. At the very least, Crypto's existence and legacy means we're almost certainly going to avoid the kind of Superman movie in which the Man of Steel spends most of its time battling moody existential crisis and slow motion while wearing a suit darker than the go to sartorial choices of a 1987 Sisters of Mercy fan. And for that, we should probably be thankful, even if this does initially feel like the most baffling pet-related cinematic decision since cats went full cgi so that basically sums up the rest of that article guys honestly it sounds like a negative slant on the direction they think james gunn is going to go in now as the article does state this is a rumor don't know if this is going to be true i haven't heard too much about crypto being in this film i did get a comment on my last superman video about crypto potentially being in this film so it is going to be very interesting if they try to implement this character into the film once again this goes into what i said about the film overall with james gunn at the helm here is it going to be more Marvel-like? Is it going to be more child-friendly, more family-friendly? If it is, it's not going to be a Superman that I want to see. Is it cool to have Superman have some light in it? It is cool to have that, but I do prefer a darker Superman. There are plenty of comics with Superman where there are dark elements and dark themes, and I would really appreciate if they rocked with those themes a little bit more. I think Superman Returns is the closest thing that we've ever gotten to a Christopher Reeves-type Superman, and I think James Gunn is almost trying to compete with that and recreate that in a sense, but he's trying to do it in 2024 in which I don't think it is going to work because like I said before I don't think people want to see a campy Superman
And when I say people, I mean the mass majority of the audience that is going to be watching this film. $360 million budget, like I said, that is rumored. James Gunn has a lot of weight on his shoulders, a lot of pressure on his shoulders. We'll see how he tries to overcome this. I can't wait to see the trailer for this film. I have speculated that I think the teaser or their first trailer will drop on Super Bowl Sunday next year in February. So we'll see when they do that. But very cool, interesting information that I got here. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments with crypto possibly being in the new Superman Legacy films, which is going to be in theater July 11th, 2025. With that being said, guys, like, comment, like I said, subscribe, like I said at the beginning of the video, share with a friend. And as always, be safe. It's Neff signing off.